Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with a new brand series or course on Spring Boot and Apache Kafka. Well this course is absolutely free because I am going to publish this course as a free on my YouTube channel. Well this course is going to be a practical course, it means I am not going to cover a lot of theory part in this course. Though I am going to cover the core concepts and the terminologies of Apache Kafka, but I am not going to you know deep dive into the theoretical part of Apache Kafka. So you can go ahead and you know uh, read the official documentation of apache kafka so i am going to only focus on focus on the practical part of this course all right so in this course you will learn how to use apache kafka in a spring boot application well this course is also useful to you if you are using event driven architecture in your microservices let's say you are using apache kafka for the communication between multiple microservices as a messaging system then you can go ahead and take this course so that you will understand the fundamentals of apache kafka and how you can use apache kafka in a spring boot project all right so if you look at this uh, architecture over here microservices one basically produce the message and it will send that message to the kafka broker and microservices two will basically consume that message from the kafka broker well there can be a lot of microservices that can consume a message from the kafka broker all right well in this course you will learn how to create a kafka producer to produce the message and send to the kafka broker and how to create a kafka consumer to consume the message from the kafka broker all right you will learn a lot of stuff in this course well let's quickly take a look into what is apache kafka well go to the browser and just type apache kafka and go to the official website of apache kafka over here apache kafka is nothing but an open source distributed event streaming platform used by thousands of companies for high performance data pipelines, streaming analytics, data integration and mission critical applications. Well, Apache Kafka initially built by, uh, you know, a LinkedIn, but later on uh, it was managed by the Apache Foundation. Well, in order to understand more about Apache Kafka, let's take a look into how Apache Kafka looks in a nutshell. Well, if you can see, this is the Apache Kafka ecosystem. Well, as we know that Apache Kafka is a distributed system, so it acts as a Kafka cluster. Well, Kafka cluster is nothing but a cluster. It has one or more Kafka brokers. You can see in a diagram, we have broker one, broker two, broker three. Well, whenever you use a Kafka in a production, make sure that you at least use three, you know, brokers in a Kafka cluster. All right. So here you can see producer and consumer. Well, producer is nothing but application that produces the message and send that message to the Kafka broker. Well, producer can produce any kind of message, like message can be an event, message can be a stream of records, stream of data, event can be arrow, plain text, string, JSON, okay? So producer basically produce the message and it will send that message to the Kafka cluster, all right? And then here you can see consumer. Well, consumer will basically consume those messages from the Kafka broker, all right? So there is a one more Kafka term that is topic. So we basically create a topic in a Kafka cluster so that a consumer can able to subscribe to that particular topic. Well, here you can see one more important service that is Zookeeper. Well, Zookeeper plays a very important role here. So the Zookeeper basically manages the state of all these Kafka brokers. Okay, so cluster can contain a lot of Apache Kafka brokers, right? So there should be some way to manage the state of all these brokers in a cluster right so that is what the zookeeper does so zookeeper basically maintains the state of all the kafka brokers in a kafka cluster as well as zookeeper maintain the configuration of all the topics producer and consumer all right so zookeeper basically plays a very important role in the kafka cluster well this is how the kafka ecosystem looks at a high level all right so apache kafka is a distributed streaming platform it means apache kafka can act as a cluster so that it can you know contains one or more kafka brokers and apache kafka it is a fault tolerance fault tolerance meaning if one node or a broker goes down then it can have a capability to manage the other nodes as well because the data is distributed among different kafka brokers right if one node or apache kafka broker goes down then it has a capability to manage the entire cluster right well, the data can be stored in Apache Kafka broker at any duration so that the consumers can able to consume the history data from the Apache Kafka broker. Okay, so the, the, these are the few important features of Apache Kafka. Well, let's take a look into some of the use cases of Apache Kafka. So here you can see these are the few popular use cases for Apache Kafka. 
well messaging well as we know that there are some traditional messaging systems like active mq or rabbit mq so this apache kafka is you know works well as a replacement for these traditional message brokers all right and website activity tracking metrics log aggregation stream processing event sourcing commit log so these are the few popular use cases for apache kafka well if you want to know more about apache kafka then you can go ahead and read this introduction page so this page will give you some brief idea about what is apache kafka and where you can use apache kafka all right in next lecture i am going to cover the important key terminologies and the core concepts of apache kafka so that it will be easy for you to you know understand whenever we use apache kafka in a spring boot application all right i will see you in the next lecture